Greetings, Cigarettes. Here's another little question that I get asked a whole lot. Proper grip. <clears throat> Is there really a proper grip for lightsaber? Or for really any hilt weapon? sword grip or anything like that. And the short answer to that is no. Um, there's no one correct way to do anything. There are certain principles that you should kind of keep in mind when holding your weapon. And we'll kind of go through a couple of them. Um, now, sometimes you'll hear people say that you want to focus on one or more of the fingers. Some people say this. Some people even say this. This right here. The thing is, especially with our weapons, which can really be any weapon, lightsaber can be a rapier, as easy as it can be a longsword, in the space of a two, two breaths, right? I can use this here like this and do it like that. <clears throat> so I have to be able to switch as quickly as I can. So that's why the grip has to be very, very malleable, very, very changeable, because the change is what's going to make that grip proper or not. Um, if we see somebody who is choking up on it and it's really stiff and like this, right, we know they're holding on to it too hard, right? Now, sometimes that focus can be too much on one finger or whatever, and so the instruction will be to focus on the other fingers. It shouldn't be then assumed that that's the end-all be-all. For, for grip. Really, it all depends on the weapon. We're going to grip everything a little bit differently. Um, everybody has their own little styles. But, uh, as long as you don't hold on to it too hard or too loose, and you're able to switch, so I can grip it hard, I can loosen it up, all of this kind of stuff, if I get a lot of shock in it, I can let it loose a little bit so that it dissipates the force in my hand, right, and it doesn't get knocked out, and I can also squeeze it right when I want to impart force into a strike. And actually with this blade, you can probably see it pretty well as it... Um, that is uh, probably one of the most common questions that I see being, being thrown around there, and that would be our take on it. Well, my take on it. And uh, considering that we have people from all different backgrounds, in our uh, group here, it's uh, you can see that everybody's variation has merit. And uh, when you have to switch the way the, the weapon is used, like we do in this sport, um, that becomes even more of an advantage. So don't get too hung up on one type of grip. <clears throat> Make sure that you can change your grip, that you can hold your weapon, you can move your weapon any way you want to and that should serve you uh, whenever you need it. All right, well, uh, hope that's helped. We will see you next time. Until then, happy sabering.